What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to these money vibes. Okay, look, we're gonna jump straight into it, but I want you guys to get excited. Okay, get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited. Because when I was getting into you guys' energy space for your money, for your abundance, for your manifestation, what I got for you was you could have never imagined what's about to happen next okay i got uh this uh, it's a curveball type energy like uh unexpected you didn't you didn't see it coming okay and it's a manifestation because of something that you obviously had inside of you because you know what it is that you have on the inside of what's going to manifest and produce it so uh physically to you okay um but i think it's more so of you know how you forget about some dreams or maybe you planted a seed a long time ago and it never fully manifested but then all of a sudden out the blue you didn't expect it here it comes okay so we're gonna be jumping into your money vibes we're gonna be seeing if there are any blockages in money um it could be people it could be mindset okay if there are um any maybe secret inheritances that you are owed so um pay attention man it's it's like literally the time of, of milk and honey the land of milk and honey um first generational millionaires are being born every day in Capricorn you are no different first generational millionaire second generational whoever wherever you fall in line you are set or you're setting yourself up to be set for you and for the next generation so we're going to be using these life purpose oracle cards I hope you guys are exercising your gifts, your gifts, your gifts, your gifts, your gifts, your skills, your talents, all right? I'm going to pull three of these to see what you can focus on or maybe just some insights, some information to money, money, money. Again, I want to focus on money, 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 because you need money to manifest uh, or to build things, you know, to get this empire going, to help people, to, um, you know be a leader be a true leader okay and build stuff in your community to um have legacy to leave down all right so i don't want to hear nothing about everybody hungry da, da, da. but i don't think i'm gonna have to hit that for capricorn maybe some of the other signs but not capricorn okay now these are going to give us either some blockages or some type of uh advantage maybe something that you haven't looked into yet all right so first we get infinite abundance boom what did i tell you okay you didn't necessarily see this thing coming, right? But it says you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. A lot of you guys are waking up to that more and more. It's unfolding each and every single day. But guess what? It's all leading to this place, all right? Some of you guys, this unexpected thing that's going to happen, um, it's going to eat it. Some of you guys is going to give you like a boost, okay? It's going to um, give you a shot of adrenaline. It's going to really, really make you want to work hard it's like maybe a door open or opportunity or you get some kind of piece of information i'm just seeing you taking off running with it like once you know you know and y'all gonna know okay so let's see what else you get sensitivity okay this is one of your advantages okay so you're becoming so much more sensitive to the energy to the vibration the wealth vibe a lot of you guys are shifting to the wealth vibe. Some of you guys had the poverty consciousness, you had the lack confidence, you had the woe is me, the victim mentality, um, but you're shifting out of that. A lot of you guys have been out of that for a little while and you're becoming even more sensitive to the wealth vibe, to the money vibe. You're understanding that money is energy. And in order to attract it, I have to think of it. So when people be, oh, you think about it, money, da, da, da. well, you know, what you think about is what you get. So you put your mind there. You're becoming so much more sensitive that you're attracting things a lot faster that even um like the vibration you're on is reaching a little bit deeper down into your subconscious and finding all of those hidden dreams and like you're able to manifest them okay becoming sensitive for some of you all this is your key talk about money more watch videos of people who give money information stand in the mirror say your mantras i am a money magnet i am a money magnet i am a money magnet money flows to me easily effortlessly every day all day in my sleep okay so get more sensitive anyway it says you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly also you know on the flip side when you're sensitive you're bringing in all kind of stuff where you can be a sponge so don't 
be around people who are talking about broke, who are talking about black and what they don't have, and it ain't no hope, and all the banks gonna close, and the economy's going down. <laughs> uh uh, you gotta get away from that. Because that you being sensitive, you could absorb that too, all right? Let's see what else we get. Yoga. This may be another secret for you guys or some type of uh, thing that's going to enhance you. Go try a yoga class. I'm also just saying like stretching, like you don't have to go to a class. Maybe you can put on a YouTube video or sit there and just stretch on your own. Do stretch. I'm really saying like stretching. Um, and I'm getting that symbolically, maybe spiritually as well, because it's like stretching. Stretch out. Stretch forth your hands. Like, what do you want? Open your arms up. Pra I would practice that. I'm really getting that with you all. Practice whatever yoga pose it is. Is it tree pose or something? I don't know. Whatever pose got you opening up to receive. That's the pose I want you to do every day. Okay, it says your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's see what else you get. Balance. Okay, first thing I'm getting with you guys is uh like budgeting. That's kind of boring, right? But you got to do the boring adult responsible stuff. If you don't, if you've never budgeted before, if you've never taken out a pen and paper and wrote things down, and um, as Dave Ramsey, look him up. He says you give every dollar an assigned seat so everything that comes in it already has a seat whether it's your saving your emergency fund whether it's your um you know your retirement okay if you you know work for yourself and you don't have that taken out of your check if it's for whatever you know give it a seat all right so this says i bring a state of uh perfect harmony to my world and i do so without judgment okay also that's a key element as well don't judge other people who may not see or get or understand your mindset, your Capricorn, when it comes to this earth thing, this pentacles thing, this money thing, you might be a little bit more advanced than the people around you. So, you know, don't judge other people. Um, uh, disarm, that's the word, disarm. Uh, some people, when they come around you, you have the ability to disarm them, like if they are uptight or something like that. Um, use that to your advantage because you may be able to get in and rub elbows with people who would otherwise be like, oh, this person is money hungry. They don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be around them because I know they're going to beg for something. It's something about your energy. I don't know where this is coming from right now. Somebody needs to hear this. You have the ability to disarm people. So when you get into the midst of, of CEOs or people who are running companies or whatever, go, go talk to them. Get yourself, have that confidence. Don't take that, take that. Get that confidence to be able to, you can stand with the best of them, okay? Get that. You can stand with the best of them. Let's see what else. Freedom. Financial freedom. Financial freedom. Say that to yourself every day. I am financially free. Whatever that means to you. I take vacations when I want to. I can take my work where I want to, anywhere in the world, okay? I get paid for my gifts, my skills, my talents, okay? Freedom. What does freedom mean to you? Okay, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This money thing, this abundance thing, it's on you. Okay, now I know some people be like, no, but my circumstances said, or my surroundings said, or my family said, and our background said, and all of my past said, I'm supposed to be broke, or I'm supposed to only make a certain amount, or people in my family with my bloodline are only supposed to go so far. No. You're going to break that, okay? You know how we do. Freedom. If it's a chain that's a curse, a generational curse, you have the the uh, the tools to break that chain. And not only will you experience the freedom, what we talk about here all the time, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-grandchildren are going to experience that freedom as well. They're going to never know those chains, okay? So let's see what else you get. Surrender. Oh, let it go. What I tell you, that, that pose where... Where you just open armed, some of y'all just just surrender. Some of y'all too tight, okay? Um, I gotta do it. I gotta make it happen. Just uh, let it go. It's already happened. <laughs> God and already promised it. Um, things are gonna unfold bigger and better than I can imagine. Let me just let it go. For some of you all, you need to surrender to the fact that you do have that gift, that skill, that talent, and you are scared, and they are gonna talk about you, and they are gonna lie and spread rumors. But you gotta surrender to that's just the way it is. But it should not stop you from pursuing that thing. What this first one say? You're fully supported, okay, as you devote yourself to your divine purpose. Surrender to your divine purpose. You sing, go sing like a songbird, okay? You dance, you choreograph, all right? You teach, whatever it is that you do. You a star, you a star. Go act, go be in that movie, go make that movie, okay? It says, I can release my need to control. Can't control other people, but you can control yourself. 
So uh, I seen uh, this baby online uh, viral. Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. So simple a two-year-old can say it. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what we gonna do. Okay, I don't want to hear nothing about I'm, is you being selfish or whatever. No, you're doing it for the long-term effect, okay? Woo, you got to because you got to, okay? You got to, you got to, you got to. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into spread. I want to um, see what's your current money vibe or energy right now surrounding you. Then we're going to look to the hidden realm behind the scenes, maybe something brewing that you ain't aware of. This is going to be an advantage for you at this time. This is going to be um, maybe a blockage or a disadvantage or something you need to work through. And this is going to be your final advice or the outcome moving forward all right so with this first card right now we have ooh the moon card now let me check something out real quick okay 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 so my deck is upright but this card came out in reverse so it's the moon um now usually when we have the moon upright we're talking about things being exposed things coming to light so a lot of you guys are being told and i just heard it so clear oh i'm gonna say it the way i heard it hush this is like we putting a cap on it. We not speaking to everybody about this. Some of y'all are going to have to go so deep in your sacred space that only you and God can hear what's going on. Only you and the angels are discussing. Only you and your spirit guides are a part of this team mil um, this team building or this team meeting, okay? So it's only um, you, okay? I'm feeling like that. Only you, only you. It's only you, okay? So some of you guys don't discuss this with friends. Um, whatever it is that you're working on, if you got projects and stuff, this is the time to where you're really fine-tuning things and you're really perfecting things, but you're not really making announcements, okay? And um, I just heard the uh, the rewards will speak for themselves. The manifestations will speak for themselves, okay? Um, everything will speak for itself, okay? But what's going on, what's brewing behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of? We have the Ten of Cups. So your... Um, your lineage, as I'm seeing it, like your future, okay? The family, the Ten of Cups. Oh, right there on freedom. Mm. So this represents family, it represents home. So this is home ownership, property ownership, okay? Some of you guys are going to get into the Airbnbs, right? Some of you guys are going to buy property and be, you know, landlords um, or whatever you want to call it, uh, like real estate moguls and stuff, okay? Some of you guys are going to learn flip properties or whatever but the key term is like these homes and properties okay so um building homes some of you guys may have construction or do something with construction but um this is building that home some of you guys are going to build your own home from the ground up okay but this is just showing you what's what's already promised to you and i think a lot of times when it comes to manifestation you know how i said earlier surrender because some of y'all are too tight like it's already promised okay it's already, if you look at your future and I see myself as rich and successful and I'm financially free and my family is free, right? You already see that picture. Just live your life every day until you fold into that date in that time, okay? But you're walking towards that. So keep this picture in mind, okay, as you're working. And I just keep getting to tell some of y'all, don't worry about what people say when it comes to you on the wealth vibe, you on the wealth train. It's nobody else's business right now that you looking towards that. Because some people will try to make you feel down or make you feel guilty. You money hungry. All you do is money. It doesn't matter because your future is your future. And you don't want to be standing at the end of that future looking like it, looking about what you could have had or what you could have done had you not listened to so-and-so. Because that day is going to come anyway. You want to be happy or you want to be sad and regretful. So let's see what's your advantage at this time. Ooh, the chariot in reverse. I just heard pump the brakes. Okay, so a lot of you guys have pumped the brakes when it comes to running. You see in um, upright position, this is moving. This is running. This is going forward. This is fast-paced momentum. And this is what some of y'all was doing from your divine purpose. You were running from it. But your advantage at this time is, you pump the brakes on running away, and now it's like, I'm going to let the, the green goblin get me, okay? It's like, life purpose may have been chasing, you may have been uh, moving forward and running after something else. But when you pump your brakes, you stop for a minute, you got quiet, and your spirit guides whisper some things into you. And now it's time for you to surrender to what those things that were whispered to you are trying to tell you to do. Okay, the time is now, 
nine. Like it's time for those who feel like you were supposed to, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. And the calling is calling and all of that. It's time. Rise up. Now let's see what we got that you need to work through. Your disadvantage, your blockage. Ah, the Ten of Swords. This to me is immediately mindsets need to go and some relationships and people who carry those same mindsets. Some of you guys have to disconnect for a minute when it comes to people with low vibrational mindsets, okay? I know sometimes we are strong and we can handle it and we can be around people like that and change their mind. But sometimes we don't realize that it's draining. It's draining. It's like a slow leak that you can't hear or can't see until you get the bill. And you see, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's already gone and the bill is already there. You have to pay it. Whether it be I'm tired, whether it be I don't have time to pursue my dreams. Because something somewhere, it was a leak. Some of you guys got to find the leak. And it's, I like how it's landed right there on balance. It's like finding the balance between things. Some people you can't avoid being around. But you can't avoid how you absorb the energy. Some of y'all need to start. Remember, what we talk about? Sensitivity. The energy. Protect your energy, okay? The, we got two tens here, too. So you're wrapping up cycles and completing things and moving on to the next phase anyway. But a lot of these blockages, when it comes to money, when it comes to infinite abundance, is because some of you all need to find a better, better balance between your mindset and certain people with that mindset, okay? Lack, poverty, a uh, victim, I don't have it, it's not coming, yeah, 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 okay? The government owe me, somebody owe me, crab in a barrel, all of that, gotta go. Let's see what's the final advice or outcome moving forward. Ooh, Queen of Swords, setting those boundaries again. To me, this is all about protecting your mind. What's going to be your biggest uh, goal when it comes to manifesting more money at this time for you? It's going to be your boundaries, mental boundaries, establishing those. If you sit and think about your problems, if you sit around other people who talk about their problems, you're being asked to remove yourself from that energy at this time. And I was telling some signs earlier, it's not about forever. Okay, and we're not saying canceling relationships forever, but what we are saying is you're very sensitive at this time, and there's two people screaming at you. You got your angel team, the whole spirit squad, and then you got some whiners and some complainers. Some way, somehow, you're going to absorb the energy. Whose energy do you want to absorb? What team are you going to be on at this time? And this Queen of Swords is all about deciding, listen, I'm going to set some boundaries with those that don't serve my highest good. Because at some point, it might affect the money. Because we're trying to get to the money. I don't care. Okay? People can be mad. Who don't even focus on money. <laughs> okay. Well, people who say that are generally broke and they generally have a lack consciousness, okay? We always talk about love. We're always focused on relationships. But if we ever want to get to the bag, we got to talk about it. We got to claim it. We got to stand in the mirror and affirm it. Is that something I can say? Can you affirm something? Okay, yeah. You say your affirmations, right? You make it true, all right? I'm going to pull one more. No, you know what? Um... Vintage Wisdom Oracle Deck is going to give us some more insight into what we can do. Because remember, man, we, we get this money, but spiritually, you want to manifest it the right way. You don't want to just get some fast cash real quick and then it's blown. No, you got to have your spirit in the right place so that when it do come in, you can discern what to do with it and how to grow it, flip it, toss it, and save it for the next generation. You dig? So one Vintage Wisdom Oracle card, please. Strength. Wow. Um, a lot of you guys are exercising your own self-confidence. I'm feeling like for some of you all, confidence is key. Um, a lot of you guys may be, you know, looking to, like when you think about getting money and all that kind of stuff, a lot of people want to be in front of the camera. A lot of people want to be rich and successful and maybe even famous, okay? This is all talking about like that self-confidence. For some of you guys, you need to know that another way to get to the bag is to work on your self-confidence, okay? The more you exude confidence, the more you walk into the room and give off that energy and that vibe that you got it, people will give it. You dig? So that is what I get for you guys. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares. Remember, we are getting to the bag. We shift in our mindset. We don't care what 
what other people say about, you know, uh, if you're focused on that, if you really want to build this generational wealth, you're going to have to talk about it, okay? And we're going to talk about it here, all right? We're going to talk about love and relationships and all that kind of stuff, but we definitely are going to talk about getting this money. You dig? So if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes, okay? So that's what I get for you guys. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all in your next video.